everybody, it's me again, posting a new video for you and giving you some fresh information. Well, it's not really fresh, but humans, in general, this is all scientific, so it's not really exact, you know. Science kind of advances and finds out that whatever they knew in the past was not accurate, so they're always correcting, so don't rely on it 100%. But I know one thing, part of it is true. So humans have about roughly 10 billion cells in their body and to each cell there is three times the amount of microbes and bacteria. So there is a flora living, I mean in our entire body, there's a lot of beings, you know, like small little uh, bacteria, parasites, and uh, microbes that live with us. I mean, you know, they live with us even when we're dead. Can you believe that? So once you die, they still uh, are alive and they move on into the soil and things like if you're buried, of course, if you're not burnt. <laughs> but what I'm trying to tell you in this message is there are other creatures inside of us that command our lives sometimes more than ourselves why am i saying this because a lot of people when they have cravings they think they think it's them wanting to eat certain foods but it's not really us it's our parasites and our bacteria inside of us because you know if you've built a certain amount of bacteria in your gut and has lived with you for a long time and you've gotten it used to eating sugars and carbs and, and uh, you know, uh, different foods than you are, what, what you're trying to do right now, especially if you're in the keto diet or you're trying to remove sugars, these bacteria, they need to be adapted to your new lifestyle of eating. They can't be removed or killed because it's very dangerous, you can die. What you can do is adapt them slowly to different kinds of foods. What I mean by that is, let's say you've been feeding yourself a lot of sugars, a lot of uh, breads, pasta, fruit, um, high sugar things. What, what you can't do is just switch immediately to a diet that has no carbs. What's gonna happen is you're gonna have cravings and those cravings are those, those beings trying to push you to eat. In fact, I've read a book, it's called uh, Parasite Rex. You have to read it, it's very interesting. They can make you think certain ways, uh, certain ways, and they can make you do certain things. It's crazy. It sounds crazy, but it has been tested and it's true. Even in insects, insects, if they take intake certain bacteria or parasites, they start doing behaviors that are not typical of those insects. Like sometimes ants will, um, will intake parasites and they will stop working in the colony. They'll go do other things. And it's not them doing that. It's the bacteria and the parasites pushing them to do those things. So if you find yourself looking for sugars or looking for ways to sneak a dessert or just like they take a break from the diet. It's not really you. It's your microbiome, like they say, inside of you that's trying to survive because it will die. It will not die, but it will kind of get destroyed if you remove those sugars. There are certain foods that they live off and you can't take them like immediately like that. Also, you'll go crazy, like you will not be yourself. That's why we have cravings and we have certain things that are inexplicable. I've had that, I deal with it. What you can do to adapt your body to a new microbiome, to a new uh, type of bacteria that's more uh, friendly and less harmful is uh, intake uh, fermented foods. What, what do fermented foods do? They lower, they kind of alkalize your body and they lower your acidity and they um, keep your, the crazy, the bad bacteria 
in uh, under control you know so I suggest you add fermented foods like sauerkraut like uh, uh, dill like um, you know uh, anything you can uh, ferment in a jar lemons um, what else anything you can ferment with vinegar for a long time like for two three months any vegetable would be very good to 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 kind of s switch your level of bacteria and uh, and parasites down this is gonna take a while but it helps a lot and if you do that every day those cravings and those crazy um, you know like ideas like oh I gotta have this or I gotta have that you know sometimes they take over your thought and your and your body and it's not your fault you know a lot of people don't realize that they fail with their diets because of this it's not because of them it's the bacteria the type of bacteria and the flora inside your gut not being able to adapt immediately to the new way of eating so if you understand that and you're able to work with it and make them your friend instead of your enemies I've seen people take medication to kill <laughs> parasites you can't do that that parasite is your friend you know the more you understand uh, symbiosis with this being inside of you they're microscopic sometimes sometimes they're not you know sometimes they're huge <laughs> but you have to adapt them slowly and uh, rearrange the type of bacteria you have in your gut so that it becomes the good bacteria and the more the better the bacteria the more uh, healthy you become, your immune system goes up and uh, you can fight a lot of diseases, you can uh, even not get the flu sometimes. So I feel like the more I intake fermented vegetables and, and uh, I take sometimes um, uh, sodium bicarbonate, which is baking soda, I'll take a little bit. If I feel like I've either slipped and did something that's not right the night before I'll wake up in the morning have a little glass well, you know we're human we're not we're not perfect it's not that you switch to the ketogenic diet that you're gonna be perfect 100% I'm, I'm a little bit shocked people are online saying you know I've been on the keto diet for 15 years I think they might have slipped and guess what it's not their fault the slippage is from the bacteria in their gut that pushed them to do something but they don't want to recognize it it's okay that's fine i recognize i slipped a few times and i do expect to slip again which is okay as long as i make up for it i dust myself off and i get back on track there's no harm to it and i know that my the bacteria inside my gut is changing it's adapting and i'm becoming more um uh, my immunity is rising, my immune system is becoming stronger, so there's nothing wrong with that. So, I take a little glass of uh, water, uh, good water, like spring water, and I put a quarter of a teaspoon of baking soda in the morning when I sleep the day before, or I eat more than what I should as carbs. Like, I try to keep it as vegetables, but sometimes I'll do like um, uh, low-carb crackers or something like that and uh, you know I'll, I'll do that in the morning and if you do it more often the better because it helps you level out and clean out your blood in your system so that's my message for today I hope it has helped you understand why a lot of times your diet hasn't been successful and help you understand that your thoughts are not really only yours they are they belong to other beings living inside of you there's nothing wrong with it it's the nature of humans. We are like that. Animals are like that. We die and those uh, little creatures are still alive and they keep on going. They're, I think they're pretty much eternal. <laughs> they live forever and they can move from one being to another, to the floor, to the ground, to the plants. They move in the air. It's just the bacteria. It's uh, the nature of life. Thank you for watching me. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel and leave me comments. I love your comments. I got a beautiful comment today uh, about someone that's uh, got, uh, got enthusiastic and uh, is following the keto diet. So I'm very happy and I'm very pleased to help people out there seeking to better their health. Thank you for watching. Take care.